Hi, I'm Jessica Evans with Love Live DC Real Estate here with your January market update. So now that we're off to a new year, we are able to see the conclusion of 2020 and what happened um, in December and to wrap up the year. Um, what we saw in DC is really a tale of two different real estate markets. The condo market and the single family home market have been on very different trajectories since about the middle of 2020. Um, so neighborhoods that are predominantly single family homes, such as uh, Colonial Village, 16th Street Heights, Tacoma DC, Brookland, these neighborhoods saw double digit increases in appreciation. Neighborhoods that are predominantly condos, Logan Circle, DuPont Circle, those markets saw declining prices as there was a lot of condo inventory on the market that's negatively impacted the prices. So it's going to be interesting to see how things go um, now that we move into January. Um, our condo market still has healthy inventory levels, um, but they're not as excessive as they were in the fall while the single family home market has a complete lack of inventory and scarcity like we've really never seen before. So it's going to be interesting to see how things progress, um, but I do think that the condo market will stabilize as um, rents stabilize, as people's jobs bring them back into the city. Um, I think rents are one of the largest factors that are impacting condo prices right now. Um, and we should see vacancies start to decline and rent stabilize, which should um, help boost uh, purchasing both from investors and owner occupants in the condo market. Um, meanwhile, the single family home market, I think this year we're going to see uh, a lot of similar conditions as we saw in 2020 with low inventory um, and low interest rates really increasing prices. If you have any questions about your specific neighborhood, whether it's in DC or not, feel free to send me a message and I would be happy to get you the information that you'd find useful.